Hey everybody, it's David. Welcome back to the channel. And as promised, I have for you the latest additions to my physical media movie collection. I picked up several still books uh, in the month of March, as well as some Blu-rays and a very special collection that I received in the mail this past week. Uh, we'll start off with the 4Ks and the still books first. And I received um, Air Force One with Harrison Ford and Gary Oldman, Glenn Close. Got this from Best Buy. Also from Best Buy, I picked up Carrie in 4K. Uh, I already had another still book of this, the standard Blu-ray version, but I liked this cover work a lot. Uh, it's a good movie and it looked great in 4K, so there's Carrie. We've got Dracula, Bram Stoker's Dracula, also with Gary Oldman. Keanu Reeves, Anthony Hopkins, Winona Ryder. This was five dollars uh, at Walmart. This is the still book of First Blood. Couldn't pass it up for five dollars. It is just a Blu-ray, but cool case. Also for five dollars at Walmart, I picked up Hunter Killer. Gary Oldman, Gerard Butler, Submarine Movie. Picked up uh, The Mask of Zorro in 4K with uh, Antonio Banderas and Anthony Hopkins. A lot of very <laughs> common themed uh, actors in this bunch of still books. I uh, picked up at Best Buy Reservoir Dogs, the classic from Quentin Tarantino. I uh, had ordered the Halloween Ends uh, still book from Best Buy, the orange edition, and it came all dented up. So I returned the movie back to the store in Lexington and ended up swapping it out for this. This is the 4K version of Rocky. Watched this last week. Looks good. Also from Best Buy, I got Scream Part 1. And on the back, you've got the phone and do you like scary movies? Uh, from Dark Side or Dark Ride, I, don't, I can't remember the name of the company. Uh, Dark Sky. We've got the 4K version of Texas Chainsaw Massacre with the original uh, poster and then on the back it's just plain. They uh, dropped the ball on this one. They, I feel like they could have maybe included the Black Maria or maybe a hook with some blood dripping off it or something. But just to be plain, that's kind of boring. Uh, from Best Buy, I picked up Training Day. Denzel Washington and Ethan Hawke. Great movie. Also from Best Buy, picked up Warm Bodies. This is a favorite of my daughter, Caitlin. And lastly, this is one I've got from Amazon. It was like 12 bucks. World War Z, Brad Pitt. This is the unrated version, I believe. All right, I did get a couple of Blu-rays that weren't still books. Picked up Fear uh, on Amazon. I think this was less than $15 as well. And I picked up The Beatles Help on Blu-ray. I had previously owned this on VHS. I go through phases with the Beatles. I'm a Beatles fan at heart, but I've burnt myself <laughs> out of them. Uh, I discovered them in high school with the whole anthology on TV. Uh, then I kind of renewed my interest in the Beatles when the rock band came out for Wii. And then last year we got the uh, Get Back special from Peter Jackson. So I, it kind of comes and goes in phases, but 
Uh, again, I had only owned this previously on VHS. Same with The Hard Day's Night and um, The Magical Mystery Tour. I am hoping to get the uh, 4K version of A Hard Day's Night and I don't think there's been a 4K version of The Magical Mystery Tour. I, I can't find a copy of it on Blu-ray here either. So there is a copy that's available, I think, but it's region B and I don't have a region free player. So fingers crossed, I'll get that eventually. And then lastly, I got the uh, In Search Darkness trilogy. Uh, this arrived this past Monday or Tuesday. This was put out by uh, Creator VC, I believe is the name of the company. But we got In Search of Darkness Part 1, Part 2 came with a slip, and Part 3 came with a slip as well. Uh, my name is actually in the credits of part three. I uh, sponsored the movie through the Indie Go Go campaign. I came with this a uh, little postcard. So there is going to be a 90s version that's coming out uh, in the fall of this year. And In Search of Tomorrow part two is gonna be coming out this summer. I also got a membership card on the back there is a QR code so that I can get some discounts on future releases. And it came with uh, three posters. Uh, the posters are over there and I don't want to have to pull them out and unroll them and all that stuff. But yeah, very happy to have this. This was a great series. I am looking forward to seeing what they uh, bring out with the 90s. So uh, yeah, that is the newest additions to my physical media collection as far as movies go. Uh, stick around, I will be um, uploading a video probably Friday of a new uh, horror collectible that I received this past week that is related to Terry Fire. That's gonna do it for this video. Hope you are doing well. And until next time, take care. Thanks.